Hello, my friends. Today's review is Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. This was published by HarperCollins in 2023 here in the States, but 2022 in Great Britain. Um, this is about 370 pages long. It is a Greek retelling of the Medusa story. This retelling is very charitable towards Medusa. It is a feminist retelling of Medusa. We learn that Medusa is this mortal woman who just wants to live her life with her Gorgon sisters that found her, and she just wants to live a normal life and be happy. She goes and visits uh, Athena's temple where Poseidon, who has been lusting after her, rapes her. Now Athena, upset that her temple got desecrated, ends up punishing Medusa, giving her the snakes in her hair and also her stone gaze. Now Medusa can't live her life because she doesn't want to turn people into stone. She actually cares about people. So she goes and lives in a dark cave. On the other hand, we have Zeus's son, Perseus. Zeus's son, Perseus, gets everything that he wants. He's living this very charitable life, and he is kind of a brat. He's a little bit whiny. Now there is a king that wants to make Perseus's uh, mother, um, his bride, and Perseus does not want this. So he thinks that he can do something about it. So the king says, hey, bring me the head of uh, the Gorgon. So Perseus then goes on this quest to slay a Gorgon. However, Perseus is inept. He is not cut out for this whatsoever. He is a pipsqueak. <laughs> and uh, Athene and Hermes ends up helping Perseus a lot because Zeus wants his son to succeed. Perseus basically can fall down a cliff, fall down a hill, and get up, and he has succeeded in his quest. <laughs> so uh, Athene and Hermes, they give him all these great things to uh, succeed in his quest, and he goes and kills Medusa. Now Medusa is just a head. Perseus uses that head to kill people. Perseus then becomes a psychopath because he finds out that he loves to kill people. What a jerk. Awful. Poor Medusa, she didn't do anything. Um, and here she ends up getting her head chopped off. And so this book is really about the uh, inner workings of Olympus, how the different gods relate to each other, how they relate to uh, the mortals. We get a viewpoint of these gods, of them being petty, greedy, lustful, uh, hate-filled. And it's great. I loved it. Natalie Haynes is able to put some humor into this story. She writes very quickly. The sections in this book are very short. It's a fast read. I've heard the audiobook is phenomenal because it's done by the author and her comedic background ends up delivering these great lines in uh, comedic timing. And I thought it was good. I don't read a lot of Greek retellings, but I was really interested in this one because it was about Medusa. I think this book uh, showed to me that there is always a different way to view things, to be charitable towards people and what's happened to them. Try to look for the victims and not necessarily for what other people say who the victims are or or the, don't look for the heroes, maybe look for the victims at times. And that book just showed me that, hey, I need to look out for people a little bit. I need to figure out uh, who are the victims in life and just, you know, help them. So this is Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. I'm very happy that these gods are not messing with my life because that would not be fun. But check this out at your local library. It was a lot of fun, and I think you would enjoy it too, especially if you like Greek retellings. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.